So today I'm going to be throwing a large pot and then making a lid for it. And this is going to be throwing all the way to um, glazing, so make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to make the lid. I let this lid dry overnight and now I'm going to attempt to trim it. Here is the base for the pot. Now my cookie jar is fired and I'm going to be um, using a paintbrush to paint on lines and make a design and then I'm going to put dots too. So here it is, finished the design. The design's a little wonky, but the pot is kind of sloped to one side anyway, so that's what happened. So now I'm going to dip it in clear glaze. Here's my pot I just decorated. Now I'm going to dip it in the glaze. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's okay though. Here's the lid. Um, as you can see, the wax is kind of weird, but it's going to be fine because there's a line all the way around that it can sit on when it's in the kiln. So both of these um, will go in the kiln and then we'll see how they turn out. So here's my completed cookie jar, all fired. Um, the color kind of fades around the pot. That's because it was slightly off center, but it still has a cool effect. Um, the base is nice and smooth. It, that's just part of the kiln shelf. <laughs> Ignore it. <laughs> here's the lid. Hold up to the camera a little bit. You can't see the colors very well. Oh, here's there the go. lid. Um, Unfortunately, the lid doesn't fit that well. Yeah, the lid got broken, so I had to remake it, and then, of course, it doesn't fit as well as it should. If you enjoyed watching me make a cookie jar, consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.